Hey guys, my name is Miguel Martinez. Today is Monday, May 30th, and... Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show. So I just finished a movie called Prove Me Now. The production company is called PGP. These guys are amazing. Make sure you check them out. Their information is down below. I played a very important role in this movie. No, he doesn't. My character was pivotal for the entire movie. No, it wasn't. I'll probably get recognized for my award-winning performance. No, he won't. I can see Spielberg calling me in the near future. Fail. Who keeps saying that? It's probably paparazzis. You don't have any. So while on set, the lead cameraman got a call from his wife. He started speaking in his native tongue, which is Polish. And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounded so cool. They were speaking so fast. Then the assistant director said something that will forever change my life. So now to get the full effect of the story, I must now reenact the entire scenario. So you're actually gonna get to see some of my award-winning acting skills. You don't have any. Hi guys, my name is Terry Silvu and I'm the director, assistant to the production of Prove Me Now. And I just wanna say that this is wrong. I am sorry guys, you know what? Um, this doesn't feel right, and I shouldn't have done it to begin with, so I apologize. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. She was actually a redhead, so uh, let's continue. Hi guys, my name is Kondrovic, and I am the lead cameraman for the production of Prove Me Now. Action! Oh, Jess Miguel, very nice. Oh, Jess, you, you are the best actor in the world. In the world. Best acting I've seen in my entire life. Best acting. Very good, Miguel, very good. Please continue. Spielberg to call you. Jess, keep it, keep it amazing, Miguel. Amazing. A bit. Oh, oh. oh, my phone. Excuse me, guys, excuse me. Hello. Scotia Venice of the Bolova Tegen, a go home and shamesha. Shende Shenev Dovanavu. A Brovici, just a Maroc Ziva Bravo, Rosha Chico Zivella, Ilacosa Pozavir. Da, just chess. Okay, bye. You guys hear this? That's amazing. That is so cool. He is speaking so fast. Actually, it's the listener. Say what? It's the listener. Because you don't know the language, you don't know where the spaces are. So it sounds like one continuous word. And... And scene. Thank you, thank you. No, I know. I know. I accept the award. Thank you, all you, all you took out. Thank you so much. We shot that scene about two weeks ago. Until this day, I can't get that statement out of my mind. It's the listener. In other words, it was my point of view, not the facts. How many times have we been caught in a rumor? Either because we started one or we relayed one. All rumors are point of views. They all start the same way. We think we know something and so we voice it. But that opinion or comment may not be correct. And making that statement will be based on how you see that particular situation. That situation might be religion, politics, maybe you witness an argument, or a friend is going through a private situation. It's like my Polish friend on the set of the movie. Hi guys, it was my opinion that that language was fast based on what I was hearing, but I was wrong. I was missing one important fact. I didn't know where one word began and the other one finished, and I didn't know where the spaces were. And because of that, I was coming up with my own conclusions. Guys, it is my plea to you, don't be caught in the rumor. Squash it when you hear one, and most important, don't start one. 
you might be missing the most important part in your story, the truth. At the end of the day, that rumor is just someone's opinion. Remember, today you might start one, tomorrow you might be in one. This is my segment for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The information is down below. Please leave any comments, video responses, or any suggestions for future topics in the comment sections below. Until next time, see you next Monday. Man, if my dad ever sees this, I'm just gonna cry.